Right, so please excuse the jankiness of the camera, but this is so cool. I just wanted to do a quick video to show it. So I've got it all working. You can, um, you know, you can use it and stuff. And I've got the web app working with configurations. Uh, so yeah, I want to show it because this is really cool. So I've got a list of button mappings, which list all the various bits you can see there. I've got the controller's D-pad up is mapped to the PSP's D-pad up and whatnot. But if you look here, I've got a current mapping I am activate, uh, I am configuring. And you've got the L2 button, so it's green, is mapped to the right uh, button. So uh, so let's do something. Let's change that to map to the power button. See there? And let's change the colour to be green. So now, if we watch here, if I click the save button, it's, just, it's not going to work now, I'm demoing it. The controller changes to green, and if I now touch R2, it turns the PSP off. And if I turn it back on, and then we go into here, we're still selected L2. I said R2, I meant L2. But now let's make that go left. And then we'll change the colour to be blue. So if we save that, control is now updated. If we look on there, L2 now goes left. So this is so cool. So you can you can go through all of these. You've got so many you can mess about with. You've got multiple groupings. So I've got... Uh, I've only got two configured, and they're both blue, annoyingly the colour. But, you know, it's, it, you can change the brightness. It, it is so cool. I'm, I'm right chuffed that this is working. So, yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd share it.